based on what you've seen so far, this backup in yields, that's a buy for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not quite uh, as far as we'd like it to go. We'd like to see maybe 385 to close to 4% on the 10-year if we can get there. And I think we might, given the vehemence <laughs> that we're hearing from the Fed about hiking rates and the fact that I think the market has been a little bit too optimistic about rate cuts at the end of the year. Uh, so I think we get there. But yeah, we'll be buyers when we get there. We're, we're more um, cautious now on credit than ever. I think one of the consequences right now of this rate rally has been, uh, because volatility has come down, the spreads have come down so much, and that's getting us more and more cautious on credit, but not so much on rates. I think we're about 170 basis points tighter than the whites of last year, Kathy. What explains that move in your mind? Are there anything in the fundamentals that explains that move? Because Lisa was pointing this out, and it kind of makes sense. It's quite intuitive. If you think we're going to get a higher terminal rate in 2023 because the data is just good and you have to push out the recession call, isn't that a backdrop where high yield credit should perform well? Yeah, uh, yes, uh, unless the reaction function of the Fed is such that it tips us into recession. So I, I see that um, in high yield, you've had a lot of companies termed out their debt, so the rise in rates in the near term isn't affecting them. And we did see a big drop in volatility, and you know, high yield tends to move with equity. 